have to wait to attend Coachella. The Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival being postponed again. No official date yet on the festival's website, but sources say it'll be moving from October to April of 2022. Even though promoters are planning to start hosting concerts again in the summertime, Coachella is more complicated due to the amount of people who attend and the COVID protocols of California. This would be the fourth delay for the festival due to the pandemic. Demi, Demi Lovato fans will now be able to listen to her new album in just a few weeks. The singer shared on Instagram that her new album, Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over, is going to be released on April 2nd. It'll be a companion piece to her four-part YouTube documentary series that will air later on in the month. This is Lovato's first album since Tell Me You Love Me, released back in 2017. The long-awaited director's cut of a superhero epic begins streaming today. CNN's Rick Damagella brings us a look at Zack Snyder's Justice League. I have a second chance. I am not going to waste it. It's a second chance for heroes and villains to have their stories told as the director intended in Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's uh, been an incredibly cathartic experience for myself and my crew and my family and just like all of us, the fan community. Whoever thought that we would be here, I never did. Um, I, and, and to that, I do owe the fans a huge debt of gratitude for their dedication and their relentless pursuit of this. It's been a long journey. It's a journey for these characters, but I think, you know, we get to see the Justice League become the heroes that we know and love them to be. I think in a world right now where it's been a hard year for everyone, you know, we could use some heroes in our life. This one will be mine. I belong to no one. Completing the movie required an enormous amount of visual effects and filming a new scene with Jared Leto and Ben Affleck during the pandemic. We had 2,650 visual effects shots. Visual effects and a little bit of tightening and tweaking of the uh, cut. And then uh, that small percentage of shooting we did, um, which we did over two days. Isn't that right? In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. SA Live making a recipe for Lent today. And they're checking out the bouldering gym that's down the street. Oh, that yeah. Sounds we'll rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not us, we're gonna eat. Yes, but if you're looking for a healthy option for Lent, we've got one. Yes, indeed, Tim McDermott from The Good Kind is here, and uh, we are making fish tacos, yes. but also gluten-free, right? Gluten-free fried fish tacos. Now, somebody might say gluten-free, it's like, mm, but it doesn't taste like it, but you said it doesn't like <laughs> Well, ours do. You, nobody would know that they're gluten-free. Okay. We and just switched up the flowers. Okay, and we're also gonna wash it down with a very special cocktail, right? We are. We actually have three botanical cocktails. One of them we call our anti-inflammatory drink. It's made with fresh turmeric root and ginger root and vodka. So, you're so healthy, it's a healthy drink. You're vodka. healthy drinking this. Yay! <laughs> That's our story. We're sticking to it. <laughs> and Jen is rocking out, sort of, kind of. <laughs> That's right. We are taking you to a family-friendly gym that you is all about the bouldering and yes i'm going to give it a try but there's some experts here that are going to show me how it's really done that's coming up sleep back to you guys i just want to keep on oh look at that yeah. look at how yummy that looks but guess what that, that's not for food. you right well you could but I it's mean, actually yeah. for the dogs okay maricela martinez from southpaw waggery you made this for the dogs? Yes, they're homemade, human-grade ingredients, organic ingredients, looking just as cute as human cookies do. All right. Special. Wow. Yes, and we're going to show you some items you're going to need for your next big hike with your yeah. dog, right? That's Make them right. carry their own stuff there for <laughs> once, the dog. And also, activities. What are What's one activity that a million dollars couldn't get you to do? Ooh. Mm. Mm. I, I, I'm going to have to think. We will. Yes. We'll think about that. <laughs> that and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live in just a couple of minutes. Stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Video game lovers, listen up. You can help decide which video games will be included in the World Video Game Hall of Fame. 
You'll be inducted. Uh, in order to be inducted, the games have got to have longevity, geographical reach, and leave a mark on the industry and pop culture. Right now on KZ.com, we've got all the information you need to know to weigh in as part of an online player's choice ballot. It runs through March 25th. Just to head over to Entertainment tab on our website. Pong, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> Ooh, asteroids. Asteroids. There's a lot that could go on there, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, we've got a string of really nice days coming up heading into the weekend. Chilly mornings, but warm, comfortable afternoons. It won't be until Monday night, early Tuesday of next week that a chance of rain returns to the forecast. All right, Katie, thank you. Like, and thank you for joining us. Like pinball when all that was coming out. I still played pinball. You played that? Yeah. Pinball. People don't know what that is. Yeah. It's look at Google it. <laughs> Google the Google <laughs> pinball. Hey, we know what's uh, going on downtown. I saw some good looking cookies down there. They were like, do you see how they, they were decorated really nice and packaged really nice? Must be really good. He's hungry. Yeah, SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Look at her going on. We are taking you to a local climbing gym with more than 5,000 square feet of bouldering terrain. And I think Jen has accomplished all 5,000 feet. At least that's our story we're <laughs> She's taking She's climbing through. her Look Everest. At her <laughs> yes. She's my hero. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Better her than us. Good <laughs> afternoon, everyone on my coaster page. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And if you don't know the difference, rock climbing, you climb higher while using ropes and safety harnesses. And in bouldering, you are just hanging by your fingertips and feet, no rope. Did I you know the difference? I, 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 I didn't think know I the difference. Have you ever done anything like that? Uh, well, not just at places like that, yeah. yes. I've, not I've tried. Out in nature, no, I'm not that I've, brave. I've never climbed up with the I've repelled off a wall or off a building and stuff like that yeah. before. So yeah. it's pretty cool, but nothing like that. So. so what is the one thing you wouldn't do no matter what? No amount of money could get you to do it. Um, I have bungee jumped before, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I'd do that again. You know, I'm probably going to jump on that. Ha <laughs> ha. You know? <laughs> Because I've jumped out of airplanes before, I've never done but that. for some reason, bungee jumping scares me more. Kind of, sort of, yeah. I don't know. How about you? <laughs> what is it that not even a million dollars, well, maybe somebody's going to need a million bucks, but uh, you wouldn't do for a million dollars. It's just, you know, wouldn't do it. Maybe it's getting into a pit with rattlesnakes. Oh, yes, you've done that. Very good. All right, well, let us know what SA Live Chase You owe me money, then. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was there watching. <laughs> let us know what SA Live Chase out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those later on in the show. Well, Lent, of course, is still going on right now, and if you're looking for a new healthy meal to try, then look no further. Tim McDermott, owner of Tim the Girl Catering, and the good kind is here. And what are we making today? It is a healthy dish, right? It smells yeah. good, too. Yeah, hi. Hi. So we are making our new gluten-free fish tacos. Okay. So some people may say fish is already gluten-free, but these are delicious, amazing fried gluten-free fish tacos. Okay. Now, I don't usually think of fried food and gluten-free. Gluten I, gluten I know. So it is really food. actually very hard, especially in San Antonio, to find fried things that are gluten-free. And so we developed, a, my favorite thing ever is a fried fish taco. I am not gluten-free, but I like gluten-free things. And uh -huh. so we developed our own gluten-free flour mix made from rice flour, almond flour, and then a variety of different seasonings. Thanks. And there and, we go. And gluten-free can be incredibly tasty. Yeah. I've had gluten-free food and I've enjoyed it. Absolutely. You know? And this one is, and you guys up, you said actually a little bit lighter than kind of regular exactly. wheat flour, Exactly, so right? it's a much okay. lighter, it's more, it, it's not like a, like a batter where you pull the thing out from in it. It's more like a tempura batter. Okay. And so we soak it in the, where it's being soaked is in a bath of soda water, egg yolk. We soak that, let it marinate, and then let it sit into our gluten-free flour mixture. Did and you, you say, don't. Did you say soda water? Soda water actually gives a lot of fried foods that kind of a little effervescence to lighten up the batter. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Okay. Yeah. And so over here, Fiona is making the slaw. She's using mandolin. 
And we use a cabbage green and purple so that we just get a pretty look for it. That's probably good. good. Okay. And then you can add this into your bowl. We season that with a little cider vinegar and you can squeeze some of your lime into there. Okay. Now, if somebody was gonna fry at home, um, what kind of oil is this, what temperature? So you wanna have it on a medium heat so that it fries. You don't ever want the oil to be not hot enough because it will absorb more oil. So medium high, everyone's stove is very different at home. And we use uh, a safflower oil. Okay, what's, what's the good, uh, you know, like with making pancakes, you throw some water on the skillet and it sizzles up. Right, so what? if you did, when you, I kind of take it, I start to put it in and if you get like a lot of action, you want a lot of action in your oil, means okay. that it's hot enough. And so you can do a little bit of water on it. And that seals in all the moisture too. Exactly, when you get that it seals in the moisture. Because okay. fried food really does get a bad rap. It's not, fried food itself, if the oil is good oil and the, it's hot enough, it isn't, that bad for you. It's not absorbing a ton of the oil. And you can actually lock in moisture and get a really healthy dish. Okay, you've got an uh, interesting event coming up. At we your sure place, do. Right? At the good so time. we are just announced our first in a series of our food, cocktail, and wine festivals that we're going to be doing at our event venue, Ivy Hall Events. And it is a bunch of chefs from San Antonio. We have some visiting chefs from Austin. Mm -hmm. And it will be tickets are on sale on our site. And there are other healthy foods that folks can enjoy at The Good Kind, right? Absolutely. We just uh, put on our menu. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, our sticky cauliflower vegan tacos. Uh, we have a fried chicken sandwich, which, again, people might say, but we're also using fried a gluten-free right. flour. We use really good bread. We put veggies on it. Um, we have a burrito. So if you're gluten-free, great place to go. If you're yeah. not... So absolutely, absolutely. We have both. Okay. Is this one done too? Or? Yeah, those okay. are done, and then All you're right. going to get your shelves from over there. Okay. And, and we'll do that. I'm just going to hand those to you. I know I should warm and them up. So we make a salsa of smoked poblanos, tomatillos, lime. Woo! I have it there. You can put a little of the salsa on first. Okay. So are we, we sort of use the salsa. Heating up the tortillas or not? Or is that not We're going to just, for, it or not. for so time's we're sake, pretend, not right okay. now. <laughs> So we would heat up the tortillas and you're gonna get your salsa down there and whereabouts as she's assembling that are you located the good kind we are located at 1127 south st mary street in south town okay and, and some finishing slaw up, finishing up some slaw some radish some a radish. little plucked cilantro and i'm gonna grab this baby and try and it. there up, you up, go up, up, up. there you go okay okay Almost finished, all right, there we go. So where can folks go for more information on you? Information at mm. mm. eatgoodkind.com and ivyholleevents.com for the chef series. All right, Tim McDermott, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Oh yeah, you've got it all over your chin. That means it's good. I know. That <laughs> means he's enjoying it. <laughs> if you're wearing it, it is nice and light and, and it's cob, right? Yeah, flavorful cob. Yeah. yeah. All right. For more information on The Good Kind and Tim the Girl Catering, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right. Well, this next activity is for the bolder among us. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. And our Jen Tobias Trusky is pretty bold today. The boldest of us all. <laughs> She's not far from us over there at Armadillo Boulders, and this place has more than just bouldering. A lot going on. Are you up on a wall there, Jen? Right, if you want a good workout, and everything you guys were eating or making over there sounds amazing, but after you have your lunch, come on over here because you can get a heck of a workout, and it's all about the boulder, bouldering, but they also have a gym, and I'm joined now by Karina, the general manager, and Karina, you guys have this amazing wall, a bunch of them, and uh, let's talk first about what makes this gym so unique. Um, so we're one of the climbing gyms in the area that is really good for families. Um, we have a bunch of different levels. Um, like you can see on the wall, there are some different numbers mm -hmm. which feature, uh, like if you're starting out, you can start with zeros or ones, work your way up to level three, four, five, six, seven, up to nine. Um, and so I guess we're gonna have Jen try an easier problem, but yes. we also have really cool community events. So we're not just about 
being strong. We're also about being here for the whole community and I the families. That. Now, you were mentioning it's not, it's like art exhibits that they have out in the front. They have an awesome coffee truck in the front. So, so this is our zero level. So if you're a beginner, I like what you said. If this is your first time trying this, come with friends, right? Yes. Okay, so I like that it's my beginner level because I don't do this. Now you've been doing this for five years, right? Yes. Um, so she's following the green colors. You're trying to stick to one color going all the way up the wall. Um, but if you use other colors trying to get used to it the first time, that's okay. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna tr try so to walk go your here. feet up if you can. There you go. And then try to grab this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can use this foot too. You can come over a little more if you okay. need to. Yeah, there you go. Oh, here we go. Shifting your body over. Good job. Here we go. Okay. And, and it's okay to use some of these other ones. Yes, especially when you're getting used to it, but you're trying to get to that taped hold with both hands. This one? Oh yes, my gosh. Yes, which you might need another foot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to keep trying this, but you have an expert over there who's been doing this for six years. So that's Nathaniel. Jonathan Jonathan Daniel, Daniel. yes. And he's going to town over there. What would you say the biggest challenge is when it comes to rock or bouldering? Um, I would say it is developing muscle memory, being able to trust your body in certain... Um, well, you can see right now Jonathaniel's kind of really tense, but you can't really tell because he's very strong. Um, but you really have to... It's like dancing on the wall in a different way <laughs> with a lot of tension and strength. And the most important thing that I remember the last time I Ooh. came here, God, wow, he makes it look so easy, <laughs> was that when you go, when you fall down, that's like, because these are all very soft, by the way, if you were watching and if you were worried about me, <laughs> you guys show people how to land and everything, yes. you have to kind of waver. Obviously, master story part in here. But I think it's awesome because you also have a whole section for the kids, right? We do, yeah. Um, there's a shorter wall in the back with a, a lot more bigger holds so they can explore different features, but also feel safe at the same time. Got it. And when you come out here, if you've never tried this, uh, there's so many different levels and you guys are here to help, right? We definitely are. We do have an intro to climbing class every Saturday, actually. Um, it's free for members and there's like an, a smaller additional price for day pass people, but we do have memberships. We also have day passes if you just want to try it for one day. And would you say there's any, I'm going to give this a try one more time, but would you say there's any other uh, gym that's like this one in San Antonio? I would say that this is the only place that is family friendly, um, that allows all ages, because we allow kids as young as three to climb. Uh -huh. um, there you go. What yeah. age did you say for kids? Three years old. Three years old? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to try to go over here, guys. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I believe woo, we have a second. There you go. If you, Maybe you can switch your foot, like if you can swap your foot. Okay. It's kind of... <laughs> And if not, that's okay. <laughs> I'll go back here. Well, I'm gonna keep trying this, guys. <laughs> Just hanging around. Back to you. <laughs> oh, I can think of a spider woman right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works too. Yeah, okay. That's fantastic, Jen. I don't know where to go. <laughs> You're doing better than I would. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get to see more climbing. of the other activities they have over there at Armadillo Boulder coming up a little bit later on. My son did that, went there uh, last summer. You love that place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For more information on Armadillo Boulders, all you have to do is head to our website. You know what to do. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead. The weather has been warm and we love getting outside, but don't forget your furry friends love time outside as well. We share the must-have items for spring camping and taking a little hike with your pups. And it's time to get organized. Tips to make your spring cleaning easier. That's next. It begins this weekend, and if you're planning on doing some uh, spring cleaning, I've been doing that in my garage, we know where you can start, and we know someone that can really help. Yes, Jennifer Singletary, owner of Sort and Order, I just love that, Sort and Order, shares tips for getting your drawer full of clothes, finally organized. <laughs> Jen Singletary. I have Sort and Order here in New Braunfels. We're a home organization company. We do packing and unpacking, downsizing. We help your house get ready for you to live in it in the most efficient way. So one of the biggest impact things you can do for your home is filing over piling. And what we mean by that is instead of piles of clothes in a drawer, what you want to do is file them. So we're going to refold 
all these items and put them in a file system to where they're easy to get out and return when you're done. And it doesn't have to be perfect, really. You just want the items to where they can kind of stand up on their own. The reason this is helpful is because now you can see everything that's in the drawer. Easier to access, less mess when you pull it out, less mess when you put it back in. The best idea every time is to take everything out of the drawer. So you have to intentionally put back the items you want and can discard what doesn't belong or what isn't used or what has damage. So we'll do that first. Take them all out. I would recommend vacuuming out and wiping out the drawer just to make sure it's all clean and then start the process. When you put items back, you can look up how to tri-fold or file fold. There's lots of resources on the internet to tell you what's the easiest way. But really there's no science. What you want to do is fold in a way that A, is easy for you so that you'll do it, and B, helps the clothes stand up on their own. One of the easiest ways to tri-fold, put the arms in, lay it flat. That way you make a little burrito out of the clothing and it stands up on its own. It's been said that home organization is like a personal trainer for your house. In the same way, home organization really comes down to maintenance. So you want to make sure whatever you do, it's easily maintained by you, the homeowner, so that it is something that stays neat and tidy and is a functional system for you. One of the benefits of this method is that it's easier, first of all, to see what's in the drawer, but also to pull it out and to put it back in and you can see what you have. So there you have it. Files over piles. Easy to take out, easy to see what you have, and easy to put back in. For more tips like this, please visit us at sortandorder.life. come to my house. Hey, take a look at what Jen's doing up there at Armadillo Boulders. Is she bouldering, practicing yoga, or working out? We know her, Java Jen's probably getting a cup of coffee. And don't forget the items you will need for your next big hike with your dog. Welcome back everybody. Oh my goodness gracious, spring is definitely here. Who cares what the calendar says about the Equinox Saturday morning, but this is a perfect time to get outside, go for a walk, take a hike, and don't forget the four-legged ones. Yes, Maricela Martinez, owner of Southpaw Waggery, is here to tell us about gearing up for spring. <laughs> That's right. Um, now that our snowpocalypse is over, we get some sun out, some cool air. Everybody's getting ready to go out hiking and camping again. So have some great stuff for you. Treats, you know, sleeping beds, packs, name it. Yeah. And, and even if you're not like going in deep into the woods right. or camping or something like that, even walking around the neighborhood, this stuff is really going to come in handy. Right. right. Perfect. And we can help you out with that, whether it's just a day hike, a walk around the neighborhood, an overnight trip. We have all the goodies to get okay. you set up. All right. Pack us up. <laughs> Speaking of, and you turn your little four-legged friend into a pack mule, right? Exactly. <laughs> or a purse. Can, so. They can carry your wallet and your keys. Yes. <laughs> then they run off and then you're out of luck. So, anyway, so, what, so this is where they can carry, what, treats and everything? Yep, oh. treats, a little bag of food for breaks if they need to just, you know, re-up um, for some energy. They can mm -hmm. put a water bowl in there, a travel water bowl, a water bottle. Just a lot of the essentials to get you going through that hike or that camping trip. Now, if you've got a really small dog, do these come even smaller these than this? These come in or? like extra, extra small. Some of them do. Yep. Oh, really? Yes, For sir. Itty bitty water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess small dog doesn't eat as much or drink as much. So then they may not last as long. They <laughs> may they may do like thirty minute hike. <laughs> and and then we were talking about would this double as a car harness that you could like hook them in if you needed to? You could. Yes, you could. Yep. They're okay. very functional. Um, they. It's just a very smart, uh, well-made product. Yep. Fanny packs are back in style. Yes, they are. Did they ever you go can, out of you, stuff? I don't know. <laughs> you can you can finally just bust out your collection. I know you've got one over the years. <laughs> anyway, 
and it's in the color blue, which I, but this is good because it's got a, dump, a bunch of different little pockets in it, and you can put your keys in there, but then also the dog treats in yep. this perhaps, yep. or poop bags, dog extra treats, bag. extra bags, um, your keys, your cell phone, easily accessible. And if you don't yep. want to do the fanny pack thing, you can do it as a shoulder sleeve. That is correct. Okay. And what I love, especially here in South Texas, is there's something to keep your dog cool while they're that outside. That is right. Which is essential here of how hot it gets. Mm -hmm. Yep. So how's this work? Yeah. Yep. So this is a cooling vest, one of our most popular products. Basically, drench it in water, wring it out, put it back on the dog, and it just keeps our body nice and cool in temperature. And the material around it helps reflect the sun rays so it's not getting so hot on their body. And which again, help prevents it from overheating. All different sizes? Correct. All different sizes. Now, dogs cool themselves by panting and also their feet, mm -hmm. right? That's correct. And then we're talking about feet and hot pavement. Exactly. You want to make sure, especially as it gets hotter, to not to keep your dog's paws off that hot pavement, especially midday. These boots right here are perfect for doing that. They're washable, they're breathable, easy to put on, last a long, long time. Come in all sizes as well. Leashes, too. Mm -hmm. And you said that one's special because yeah, we have a uh, bunch have of leashes. Onto. These are great because they can be handheld or waist worn. So whether around the neighborhood or hiking, these are very functional that you can wrap around your waist. So you can have two dogs or use your hands for other things. And if you go to the lake or beach, we have great waterproof leashes that are made of like really great biothane materials um, that can just right. easily dry off. All right, we've got about 20 seconds. Okay. So let's talk the yum yum that they've got, right? Yep, so we have some great new, as of this month, Barkery treats. Just because we felt that dogs, dog treats should have to be just as cute as the human treats. Um, partnered up with my sister-in-law of Kelly's Cookies to bake these awesome human grade organic dog treats custom made to order in any design you want. Okay, if you'd like more information on South Paul Waggery and where you're located? Located downtown at 317 Lexington at the Cadillac Lofts. All right, SA Live. Click on the I Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much, Marissa. Great stuff. So happy to be here again. Thank you for having me. All right, coming up Thirsty Thursday again. Tim McDermott still here. She made those great tacos and now some good cocktails from the good kind. And we find out what Jenna's been up to while hanging around Armadillo Boulders. <laughs> <laughs>
and he's going, and you kept going. So, um, so somebody who wants to try this again, it's just practice, 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 right? Definitely, yes. And you guys just have like all anything. kinds of classes um, around the corner. They have the kid area, and um, can you describe like the different levels? Um, if you want to be on this side of the gym, is there a big difference? Um, so we try to keep the grade levels kind of true no matter what wall you're on, but sometimes, like I said, the overhangs can just be a little bit more challenging. It, it's based on the style that you like to climb. Um, so just depending on what, what, which one do you like the best? I love the overhangs. So, I mean, like what I was trying to show you to do earlier, like I, I love how to do. <laughs> Yeah, well, like sometimes she was saying you, you can change different colors if you want to play like add-on or something. But if you're just trying like different moves and you're like, woo, hello, you know, whatever. But um, it takes a lot of whole body um, strength to do this. So. So would you say, so it's everything. I was going to ask, is it, because like the green I'm good with here. <laughs> yes, so the easier these, ones. Again, the different, different levels. How often do you guys switch out the? We change different parts of the walls twice a week. Um, so there's always week? new challenges, yes. And then again, different community events, right? Um, yes, we do actually have a spring art bazaar coming up at the end of the month on the 27th. So we'll feature some local artists, local vendors. And awesome, okay, I'm coming down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, again, it's soft, don't worry. I'm all good, but this is quite a workout. Just the short time I've been here, I'm feeling it. So come out, they're located right near KSAT um, downtown. You wanna say your address? Yes, our address is 1119 Camden Street, um, and we're really close to the Pearl, yep. right down the street from SAMA. Make a day of it, and come out here, have fun. SALive.com for more information. I think I'm gonna keep trying this, guys. <laughs> Back to you. Yes, yes we're gonna see if Jen can Get to the top. Yeah, and do the, the overhang thingy and all that <laughs> stuff. So, and what's cool is they've got uh, you know, the levels for different, all kind of folks. For if experts and then out. for, uh, yeah, us that were on the floor. So, <laughs> all right. Okay, well, for more information on Armadillo Boulders, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. This award winning local band is back to perform an encore of its Irish Reels. And there's nothing like a refreshing cocktail to sip on, especially on a day like this. The Good Kind is back with a round of drinks. Welcome back to SA Live, where we are preparing for spring on this thirsty Thursday. And Tim McDermott from The Good Kind is back from those Yummy fish tacos that were gluten free, and now we have to have something to wash it down with. And, and I love the, the fun fact part. That, you know, you always say, well, well, it's, it's healthy, but this is a healthy cocktail, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, as healthy as cocktails get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we starting off with? So, we are starting off on your end with our signature drink. It is a hibiscus lime, lime. margarita. So, we have homemade hibiscus syrup that we use instead of the usual. Simple syrup, triple sack, sweet that people would put into drink. We squeeze all of our juices fresh. Mm -hmm. So you've got your tequila, your fresh lime juice, and then an ounce or so of your homemade hibiscus syrup. So and, and that's homemade. That we make that. So we Ooh. get hibiscus flowers. We do an infusion. We make it into a simple syrup. Could you make that into like a hibiscus old fashioned? Absolutely. Yeah. So you okay. can make it into lots of non-alcoholic drinks too. Imagine that. <laughs> so make some hibiscus tea Absolutely. out of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Honey. Okay. Yeah. Give it a shake. I think you have okay. your. Oh, oh, there, we go. there you All go. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you much. Okay. And what's better in your opinion, frozen or iced margaritas? I am an iced person, but also. Love the you color. You can top though. this with a little topo. Okay. There's there a lot of go. booze in there. Um, I am an on ice margarita person, that's me, but we do make really good frozen margaritas. We squeeze, we have grapefruit, orange, Ooh. lemon, and lime in there. Ooh. That hibiscus, I love hibiscus, hibiscus tea and everything like that. That's really good in awesome. a margarita. So, okay. all right, what's Thank next? Thank you. Your next up is a smoky Paloma. Okay. That is here. Smoky okay. Paloma. So we use a little mezcal instead of tequila. You're going to use the green bottle. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
And you have uh, food seven days a week? We do. We're open for lunch and dinner every day. Okay. And Sundays we close at seven. Okay. But okay. no breakfast, so open up no there. No breakfast. And what's, what's one of the most popular things on the menu? I know those fish tacos were fantastic. I, the fish tacos are actually our best selling, and then you're gonna also do an ounce of that. Are the fish tacos, we have a spicy fried chicken sandwich, which does well, because everything, apparently chicken sandwiches are like the COVID food. <laughs> I guess you're healthier, or you think you're healthier eating chicken, right? Right, so. I guess. And then a little fresh grapefruit and topped with a little topo. Okay, there we go. There you go. And these are perfect cocktails. Yes. It, it, <laughs> as, as they said on uh, St. Patty's Day yesterday, cilantro. So. Cilantro, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ooh, that's got a kick. <laughs> that right? Might be because it's got I, a little the ancho chili. Yeah. And last yeah. but certainly not least. Last but not least is our, I like to say I'll have the, the anti-inflammatory cocktail. It <laughs> has, because we have a cold press fresh juice program, it has fresh turmeric root, fresh ginger, pineapple, lime, and coconut water in the mix, and oh, we wow. mix that with vodka. <laughs> this right here. I'm mix it with right vodka. Here. Why not? So some people actually get it with gin. It works both ways. Whew. So okay. that's what you put in your smoothie in the morning, and then you put it in your cocktail. We later actually on. just for this season on our menu are starting boozy smoothies because we have a whole smoothie program. So we're offering shots of rum, shots of Malibu in your smoothie. Why not? <laughs> We like to say grown-up smoothies. Exactly. <laughs> and you also have that uh, good program coming up. It is. We do. We have a chef series event coming up April 11th. Tickets are on sale. It's a picnic style food festival. Seven visiting chefs. It is all inclusive. Cocktails, beer, wine, food. It's going to be awesome. And the tickets just went on sale yesterday. All, all right. right. Well, if you'd like more information about the good kind and all of the, the healthy and the boozy smoothies, or <laughs> say that three times fast, before you had one to drink, just go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next, San Antonio-based St. James Gate brings us award-winning traditional Irish music. Welcome back to SA Live. Oh my gosh, it is just such a beautiful, I don't know what we're doing inside right now. Right. Anyway, it is an award-winning Irish band, traditional Irish band, but based here in San Antonio. Yes, St. James's Gate is Irish all year long, and they are helping continue the traditions of Ireland through their music. So we're saying cheers to another round of Irish reels. <laughs>
Tomorrow on SA Live, we prepare for spring and nothing says spring quite like flowers. We're gonna show you how to make a bouquet from wildflowers. Plus, it's spring flowers being turned into wine. This one-of-a-kind wine comes from a special female-owned winery and we learn all about it. That and more tomorrow at one on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, what's the one thing no amount of money could get you to do? Nathan says skydiving. He's not gonna jump out of a perfectly good airplane. But didn't you say the skydiving, it's, it's not like you're falling, you just keep going sideways and then drop down. Yes, it's the sudden stop though. Oh, that, 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 that Mary Jane says down. swim in the ocean. Oh, Mary Jane, oh, fear the ocean. Hmm. Okay, and Vianney says skydiving or bungee jumping. Done the bungee jumping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You won't do it again? Probably not. Probably not. All right, and Paula also, bungee jump, big nope. I did yes. it when it first... It seems so sudden, I, I don't know, or so quick. Well, when it, it was like in a basket on a crane, you know, and, and dropped yeah. down, and, and then it was when like, they Bang. recoil, I'm always afraid they're gonna splat on something. I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it worries me. I would worry, I do not want to splat. <laughs> but what's your price? That's the question. No, no, no price on that. Hey, tomorrow <laughs> Megan is going to be back and she always has wonderful tips on flower arranging and those great wildflowers, how to make beautiful bouquets out of those. All right, we'll see you tomorrow at 1.